against them. So nothing that Army's doing, excuse me, Navy's doing on offense could, should be unfamiliar to this Army defense. Same formation, and this time going to the right for our line. And again, he got a big opening, and now he's into the secondary. Our line, one more move inside the 10. Did he get there? Not quite, I don't think. He hit the pylon, but I think he's out at the one. So when a play works, same thing to the right. We ran the last one to the left. Let's run the same thing to the right. Now the block wasn't as big, but it still was the block inside. And then when our line gets it in the secondary, you're seeing why all three of the academy said, this guy can play quarterback for us. All the way down to the pylon cam. And as you can see, his knee's gonna go down or his elbow, I should say. At about the one yard line before he wipes that camera out. And before he lost the ball, at least Navy should hope so. And he's about to make the call. It's going to be first and goal. He didn't turn his mic on. It's going to be first and goal at the two. So the biggest play of the day, 64 yard run by Xavier Arline has got Navy knocking on the Army door. Yeah, everything's working on defense at halftime. You come out, you can't stop them. Nelson Smith into the pile. Might have gotten half of it. They're still pushing and shoving, and finally there's a whistle. I, I think that. he got to the one yard line. I hate that late whistle right there. I, I just wish that the forward progress was stopped, and there was so much time before the whistle that time. I don't think it's safe, and I just hate that tugging at the ball in that situation. Remember the play before when Nelson Smith got the good block again? They run the same play to the right, and he leads for it. Watch number 43 in there, and he just shadows just enough to get Radigan off the tackle and break it. He's the guy that sprung in for 10 on the play to the left, and then 64 on the Weaver. And now Smith is behind our line, gets the pitch, hitting the backfield, backing his way back to the original line of scrimmage. Wow, Jabari Moore, the boundary corner that time, number four for Army, takes on the block, and that allows the tacklers. Watch to the outside. He takes on the block, turns it back inside, and then it's cleaned up by number 22, Cunningham. So they're right back where they started. In when fact, just a little bit more outside the two. But when your corner makes that play, take on a blocker and turn it in, you can play some good defense on the edge. Third down and goal. What are you thinking of your Navy? Is it two more downs, or are you going to tie the score with a field goal attempt? Right now, they're going to take a timeout because the play clock got down to one second. So we'll take it with them with 12.03 remaining and a huge third down coming up for the midshipmen when we come back. It's Warren in that Navy huddle yep, during the timeout. Right Remember last year, right? In Philadelphia? <laughs> yes. He was letting everybody know. You can always go back to me, right, Ness? A little Philly special, a number 13 chance. Warren just lofts it up to the fullback Carruthers. Well, after the timeout, we're about ready to find out what they've got up their sleeve on third down and goal. Just outside the two. Do they have the guts to throw it here? Carruthers is in there. The guy that caught that pass last week, so is Chance Warren. Yes. And Xavier Arline under center. On the keeper. He's in. Touchdown, Navy. Bryce Texier got a good block off that side, and Navy's in front. Let's see if his knee is down on this play. Is his knee down before he gets in? Where is the ball when his left knee goes down? Radigan's there. Does he get there before the knee goes down? He's under further review. Oh, I think that's pretty close. Sure I, think is. They're gonna, I, th I don't think they can overturn this from that look. Called a touchdown on the field. Here's a different angle with his body lean. Let's see here. Knee down. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I think they're going to let that touchdown scan. I, I do too. But that's probably that's the best our best look. look. Yep. 
the ball at that you know, point it looked like it was over the his, plane. His right knee goes down. It was not. I'm being told by the truck that it was not called a touchdown on the on the field. Gene Steratore is with us. Gene. I I think his right knee went down before the left knee. That's why it was not called a touchdown. I thought assumed they I called that a touchdown. I agree with that, Gary. His right uh -huh. knee was down. And I agree with you on that. Yeah. I think that the left leg feels like it is moving cleanly right over top of the of the ground, but not touching. And then we do see the right knee hit. Boy, that ball is so close, and the ball is kind of tilted in the runner's hand as he's approaching the goal line. And if they marked him short, I truly don't see something clear and obvious from our angles that would tell you you could overturn the ruling on the field. So Watch I guess his you... right knee right there goes down, and as my mistake was I thought they called it a touchdown. What you guys are saying is I'm the only one that called it a touchdown. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's really foggy out here, Chris. <laughs> if you knew how far away I was, folks. <laughs> well, that's a great shot, and I think he's down now. What do you do if you're Navy? Because that's not going to be a touchdown. It's fourth down and about a foot, if Less indeed that's foot, what they're going to yes. call. Hey, you're in enemy territory at the half-yard line. What that's do you do? That's a good way to put it. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Fourth down. There you go. Fourth down. And a little over the length of the football. I'm going for it if I'm Navy. Don't you go for this right here? I think, as you said, enemy territory. You're trying to capture their turf. You don't do that kick and field goals. So the play of the game so far is at hand. And this is a Navy team that's converted 24th down so far this year. And the other thing, if you don't get it, think where Army gets the ball. Nelson Smith behind our line gets the call and... Nothing. Didn't get it. The Black Knights hold their ground. There was no movement up front at all. There's their leader. And that emotion tells you that they just got to stop on fourth. His helmet might have gotten close, but the ball didn't. What a collision. That close. Watch Nolan Cockrell, the nose tackle. He goes low and allows Radigan 47 to go above him. That stops the momentum on that play. There's your guy. Yes, you want him on your side. Ruling on the field was no touchdown. The defense holds inside the one-yard line. We take you back and we listen to hear if we can hear a whistle. Gary was talking about this earlier. And it was a late whistle. You were talking about that earlier. Yes, you did hear it, though. The running back fell across the line late, but I heard the whistle before it happened. It happens right about there and then he kind of reaches it out afterwards i think it's a good job of officiating and replay that play and pretty good defense right by amadale weston company the bad news is you're at your own one yard line navy stunning a little bit trying to show blitz against tire tyler under center and a pile up oh, man that was close exactly every inch